Hi everybody, Mamie here. We're back with another card today. This is a Wild Roses card. We are going to use watercolor paper. This is the Strathmore 400 series watercolor paper. It's great paper for using distress inks. And this is Romantic Wild Roses stamp set by Just Right. I got this stamp set on Amazon and it's a really great stamp set. It's a layering stamp set and it has several layers in, of leaves and flowers and it's just really nice. So we're going to start by just wetting the watercolor paper a little bit just because I don't want it to be bone dry when I'm stamping on it. And we're going to start with the base layer of the first flower. And the colors I'm using today for this flower is Ripe Persimmon and Barn Door. I really love the Ripe Persimmon. I feel like there's not enough orange colors out there. It seems like I can't find very many orange or yellow for that matter in, in really any, just like tons of reds and blues and greens, but they neglect the orange and the yellow. So I really like this uh, Ripe Persimmon, very pretty color. And if you notice, there's little white splotches, which can happen on watercolor paper. And it's a very easy fix, which is fantastic. So I will go in and fix those little light parts. And then I'm using the uh, other two colors for the second flower, which will be the same as the other flower as well. And we're using Picked Raspberry and Dusty Concord, I believe. I might be wrong on the Dusty Concord. Actually, it might be Seedless Preserve. I believe it is Seedless Preserve. And if you notice here um, that the picked raspberry didn't really stamp all that well so I'm just putting a little bit of the color onto some plastic sheet and just gonna fill that in fill those blotches in and it's really fun I really like this part so I don't mind at all that it doesn't stamp um, perfectly because I like to use the brush and go in and and fix the little details it makes me feel like uh, I'm a real artist as far as painting goes. <laughs> and uh, it's just fun. I love painting. I wish I was better at it. But I'm practicing, so that's all we can do is start somewhere and keep going. So anyway, you see there? Very easy fix. And some people like for the, the, the blotchiness to show through, um, but for this style card, I really wanted it very bold because I, am, I like bright colors and I really love these bright colors and I really wanted it to pop. So that's looking pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and stamp our next flower. I'm just showing you my paintbrush there. I think it's a number two round, might be a number four round watercolor, watercolor brush. And it might also be that my picked raspberry is a little bit dry. That Sometimes that's the reason that it doesn't stamp as well. So might be time to get another one and I'm using Inka Dinka Do masking paper and the problem the only problem I have with the Inka Dinka Do is it doesn't stick very well and for very long so I didn't even bother taking the backing off of it because it doesn't really stick that well 
So I just kind of hold it down with my finger and, and use it that way. Because if it doesn't stick very well anyway, why take the backing off and have it get stuck to itself or stuck to something else? So just leave it like that. <clears throat> and you can reuse it and reuse it. So in this one, I'm just going in a little bit. And now for the second layer, the fun part. Oh, well, let me fill this in a little bit first. And I really wanted the color concentrated here, so I was just going right on the stamp, uh, the ink pad itself. So I'm going to grab the second layer there, which is the center of the flower. Well, the center, the um, inner area of the flower, not the center. And I'm using a darker color on this second layer. And they're very easy to line up. I haven't had any issues with it coming out too distorted. And this is actually, this video is the first time I'm using the stamp set. So you can see that um, it's very easy. And I have a little tiny spot there that is getting on my nerves. So I'm just going to go in and fix that going right on the stamp, uh, on the ink pad itself. Okay, so now I am stamping the last flower. Ta-da! Isn't that so pretty? I just love these layering stamp sets. And that's not all, we still have the middle part to do as well. So now I'm going to <clears throat> pick out the first layer for the center of the flower. And I'm using my yellowish natural tones. And this one is mustard seed. which you can tell I'm not being too precise with it. And they're turning out pretty cute. So now I'm going to use um, a more natural tone, tea dye, just to add the little dimension to the center of the flowers. And that's just so lovely. I'm addicted to layering stamp sets now, <laughs> so I'm really glad they're making a lot more of them, but I, I really wanted to get a flower that had a lot of different flowers, a lot of options, and this was just a really great stamp set because I'm very big about making sure I get the most out of the things that I buy. And now I'm using two shades of green Crushed Olive is going to be my base coat for my leaves. And I'm just stamping these randomly.
And now I'm just going to go over the top with my darker shade of green. I'm not really doing any masking. I'm just inking up the very bottom or the very top of the uh, leaf there so that I don't have to keep bringing in the mask. So there you have it. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. I'm just amazed at how great these stamp sets are. And this is a stamp set by Jilly Bean and I think I got it at Joann's. It has a lot of great little sentiments and they're very large sentiments. I've been very happy with this stamp set as well. So I'm going to stamp this in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Or maybe not, let's see. Okay, so I'm stamping it in my Noir Black Palette Hybrid Ink, which is a lot better choice. Um, it's bolder and more crisp. Obviously, I made this video several weeks ago, and I've already forgotten everything that I did. <laughs> but that's okay. And it says, thankful for you every day. And actually, I had done this entire card a second time, and I really loved it. And then I realized that I had stamped it, um, well, I didn't realize at the time, but I forgot I had stamped it in the palette um, hybrid ink, which takes longer to dry than the tuxedo black. And so I was like wiping my hand across the card. I don't, I don't know why, what crazy reason I would do that. That's like a, the biggest no-no ever, but I don't know what I was doing. Maybe something had fallen on the card and I was just wiping it off. And I wiped the sentiment all the way across the card. It was horrible. Oh, I was so mad at myself. But all I did then was I took a little strip of paper um, of cardstock in green and covered the sentiment and then stamped the sentiment again on a flag on a fishtail um, flag and uh, it ended up being pretty cute but it covered up some of the flower which made me really sad so it might have been this one that I rubbed my hand across I can't really remember but anyway you see how it looks now enjoy it how it looks now because that's not how <laughs> it turned out so now I'm just using a black jelly roll pen to go over the missing spots because when you stamp on watercolor paper I don't know I guess I'm not strong enough I don't really push down hard enough so sometimes I have to go back over the sentiment which is totally fine so here is the basic part of the card and now I'm putting the base color on the card and I'm going to do a little decorating here on <clears throat> the card itself. So it came, the stamp set came with these three little, um, uh, these, wait, one, two, three, four, five, five little dots. I guess they would probably go in the center of, a, of the flower. <clears throat> and so I'm just using that to decorate the bottom of the card.
and then I'm going to put the top layer on top of that. I'm going to cut it down a little bit and then put it on top of that. This is going to run along the bottom of the card and it's just going to accent it a little bit. And I am cutting off the top part of the card. <clears throat> I'm just going to trim it a little bit so there's not so much white space there. And there is what the card is going to look like. So anyway, thank you for joining me and make sure to hit like and subscribe and I will have some still photos at the end uh, and leave me a comment. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a good day.